Hey everybody, Tony Stewart with Friends for Life again. Um, I got a serious question for you. Who's lying here? The client, the DSP, or the agency? And you're probably saying, well, what are you talking about? Well, as agency provider, you are constantly stuck in a scenario in which you have to judge who's giving you all the facts. Now, this can be from something as minuscule as being out of bread in the household to something that is MUI, major unusual incident related. And it's not always the fact that it's someone lying, at least in my eyes. I think that sometimes there's just a group of people seeing one situation in several different ways. And in order to really digest this, we have to go back. We have to figure out what is the objective of each person in this scenario. If we think the DSP is lying, why would the DSP be lying? Maybe the DSP is on their third infraction and in jeopardy of losing their job. Maybe the DSP has a record of sort that creates a fundamental disdain for them being a model employee. Maybe the client has a history of making allegations and those allegations always rewarded that client. Maybe the agency provider is in hot water with the county board or the state and now certain things don't look too good. Instead of us judging and not recognizing that each one of these individuals can have a different approach to a scenario, we have to come together as a team. I know, I know, I know. Tony, 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 team, team, team. That, that's all he's talking about. Come together, have meetings, have meetings, have meetings. Yep, that's what I believe in because that's what I believe works. That's what I've seen work. I've never stopped and said, you know what, everybody go home, think about it on your own, and it'll all fix itself. What have any of you ever seen that? Has anybody ever just sent everyone home and said, fix the problem on its own, and it just works? No, we have to be a team in this. So back to the thought of someone lying. Maybe it's not so much a lie. Maybe it was something that the individual, the staff person, or the agency believed in. Now, if you're working from a point of being extremely open and extremely dedicated to what this field of work brings, it'd be easy -er <laughs> to kind of notice those things. I'll give you an example. A lot of people, when it comes to MUIs, major unusual incidences, will tend to get nervous when it's time for an investigator to come by. And when that investigator comes, they're kind of on, they're, they're on the tip of their chairs ready to defend themselves versus stating the facts of what happened. Now, I'm not going to say go anywhere blindly and trust everyone without a little bit of reservation. I, I don't even do that. I, I've been given a lot of time that I can, I've seen people use me for negative purposes. But if you are really helping the individual to, to your best abilities, you're following the protocols put in place not only by your agency provider, but by the state and by the individual service plan, most likely you will be in the good. Now, there are those times that people will do what they want to do for them and only them. And with that being said, that might be the person who's lying. So I hope this was helpful content. If not, hopefully next time. See you later. Friends for Life Residential Care, specializing in support for individuals with developmental disabilities, offers services like adult day support and home health care. Emphasizing empowerment and quality of life, we live by the motto, my ability is stronger than my disability. We are currently hiring, welcoming those passionate about making a difference. Learn more and explore career opportunities at friendsforliferc.com.
I'm Dr. Craig Eskide, President of Intellectability. State developmental disability agencies, managed care organizations, and providers across the United States use Intellectability's health risk screening tool, eLearn courses, and person-centered training to improve health equity for people with IDD. Visit ReplacingRisk.com to learn more about how you can employ these tools with people you support. Making sure that individuals are reaching the goals they have set for themselves. That's one of the many goals of Assured Health Services. If you're looking for a residential care provider or searching for ADS services, Assured Health is your go-to place. Assured Health, helping others succeed. Learn more at assuredhealthohio.com or call 419-442-8066. The Reliable Drug and Alcohol Testing Clinic is a leading provider and convenient source of pre-employment and occupational type testing. Their clinic provides services to a wide range of private businesses, healthcare facilities, and municipal and county courts. Reliable is an independent, locally owned clinic. As a result, they provide their services at a lower cost than the major hospitals, have faster turnaround times on test results, and eliminate the long waits typically incurred at these larger facilities. To learn more, visit ReliableDrugTest.com. THS Remote Supports is clearly focused on improving independent living through dynamic and personalized services. Their systems have been carefully developed and perfected to ensure that everyone receives the best care through the least intrusive means possible. Located in Cincinnati, Ohio, they've spent over 20 years providing in-home supports to individuals with disabilities. If you or someone you know is looking for a remote service provider, go to THSRSS.com or call 513-882-9088. Agape Community Services is an innovative, health-conscious adult day program for individuals with developmental disabilities. They empower happiness and independence, offering top-notch services and encouraging active participation in daily activities. At Agape, they build rewarding community connections without compromising on quality. Join them in creating a brighter future together. 